What's up YouTube, Big Daddy here, time for another food review. So the other day the mystery guest sent me a text about a product that they are selling at Target that has a very interesting name. Uh, some would look at this name of this product and it's a little bit like, really they named it that? But they did um, and I think there's a legitimate reason behind it. It's not meant to be offensive. Uh, some might take offense buy it, but it's really not supposed to be that. Um, and you can look up the name of this product after this video is over and read all about the reasons why. I'm sure there's a big article. I think there's a blog, a Target blog post or something about it. But I want to talk to you about the food because it looks really interesting. And what I'm talking about here is a product called Ghetto Gastro toaster pastries ghetto gastro toaster pastries uh target has a whole bunch of flavors of these uh i picked up several there's the strawberry uh there is i'm gonna do that one last there is maple apple and cinnamon which you know that's similar to a pop tart uh, chocolate raspberry. I've never seen a Pop-Tart that flavor before. But the one that is, I'm really looking forward to is the PB&J Ghetto Gastro Toaster Pastries. So if you look on the box, and there's, it's very, the marketing is really cool. The PB&J, you've got the nutritional content, of course. On the back tells you how to how to cook it. Cool. So I'm gonna pop these in the toaster, these PB and J ones, because that's the one I'm really interested in. And uh, I'll let you know what I think of the Ghetto Gastro Toaster Pastries. Okay, before I even got these out of the box, I did notice here's a the difference. These are about the same thickness as a Pop Tart but they're not the same width as a Pop-Tart. Uh, and they are wrapped in a very plain ghetto gastro PB&J wrapper. So we're gonna open this up before I put it in the toaster so we can take a look at it. I wanna try to do this without damaging. The t oh, there we go. And most Pop-Tarts come two in a package. These come one in a package. There's the P, B, and J Ghetto Gastro. Now you notice there is literally no frosting on this at all. It's just a to uh, toaster pastry with no frosting. All right, so let's pop this bad boy in the toaster and I'll let you know what it's like. Since we're doing the toaster pastries, PB and J, I thought I would do a chocolate raspberry as well, since that seems to be a different flavor that I've never tried before. So stupid. Oh, there's one. You know what they say, a watch toaster never pops. It's not popping. And... All right, I'm done. Enough of that. Okay, so they look the same. PBJ chocolate raspberry. We're gonna eat PBJ face cause, first because chocolate raspberry is on fire. Okay, so I've heated this up into the toaster. It's still pretty hot, wow. Okay, PB and J, do not do this at home. I am a professional. Hmm. 
Well, hmm. I'm really not getting the peanut butter flavor that I was expecting. The jelly is coming through, but it almost tastes like chocolate. It's not very distinct. I'm kind of bummed. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Well, we're gonna try chocolate raspberry next. Palate cleanser. That wasn't necessary. I just felt like doing it because I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay. Chocolate raspberry. Let's do this. Mm. This almost tastes the same. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, these are kind of, the chocolate is coming through on, on this one, because the cake, the pastry is chocolate, and whatever's in the middle has a little bit of a raspberry flavor, but that one's a little more accurate, but this peanut butter and jelly one, I don't... I'm not tasting a whole lot of peanut butter. I was really hoping the peanut butter was gonna come through. Um, it's not, it's mostly the jelly. Mm, okay. Well, how would I rate these? All right. Gatto gastro. For the PB and J, I'm giving these a, a, a two. Eh, yeah, two out of five. They're just they're just not hitting the mark. They need more work on the peanut butter part on the PB and J. For the uh, ghetto gastro chocolate raspberry pastries. Uh, I'm going to go 3.5 out of 5. These are a little more close because you get that chocolate, subtle hints of raspberry. Not real strong raspberry flavor, but pretty good. So 3.5 out of 5 on these, 2 out of 5 on the PB&J. And that's pretty much it, guys. Like I said, there's a blog post out on Target's website about Gatto Gastro. If you do a search on Google for them, it'll tell you about them. It's about black-owned businesses and things like that. Really kind of cool. But as far as the product goes, needs a little work. And that's pretty much it, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe. Tap the notifier bell so you know when the next video comes out. And remember, before you take the first bite, you got to stuff it in your pie hole. We are out.